Hey there, my name is Tracy from Randomness of Rudy. Welcome to the Sagittarius Experience. In this series of videos, we're going to take a look at Sagittarius the Archer in relationship with each sign of the Zodiac. But before we dive into the series, let's take a look at Sagittarius in relationship in general. Sagittarius is born November 22nd through December 21st and is a fire sign, the last of the fire signs to be exact. So now that we know the element of this sign, I think it's pretty easy to gauge the temperament of of Sagittarius in relationship. For the most part, Sagittarius is a ball of energy. This is a sign that really enjoys outside worldly pursuits, is very active, um, and is just genuinely full of optimism. And, and it's, it's contagious, actually. Sagittarius has this positive demeanor that really spreads to everyone and anyone who comes within his or her reach, within his or her contact. So we're talking about a, a generally optimistic sign that is very philosophical um, and, and has this way of always thinking about the silver lining in life and, and the, the luck that life brings and, and is very hopeful um, and, and is just has a wonderful attitude. It's kind of hard not to want to be in the presence of a Sagittarius. This is a sign that's also truth seeking. In fact, at a core level, Sagittarius is very much concerned with worldly knowledge and, and Sagittarius likes to broaden his or her knowledge base um, in a way that allows them to step outside of local stimulus and, and local environment and really kind of be in the out of world of foreign pursuits. So that's Sagittarius in a nutshell. And, and this kind of explains why Sagittarius has this reputation of being non-committed or unable to commit. And this isn't true. Um, you know, all of the signs in the zodiac are, are able to commit. Sagittarius is just a special case, if you will, in the sense that, you know, if you're in a relationship with an archer, you're going to have to give your archer a very long leash. You know, Sagittarius enjoys exploring. And, and really, Sagittarius wants a partner in crime. You know, Sagittarius wants a partner who will explore with him or her. You can't sit on the couch all day watching television. And you can't expect your archer to want to do the same. Uh, Sagittarius needs to roam free. Sagittarius needs to learn. Sagittarius needs to travel to farm foreign destinations and, and experience the outside world. And if you are not going to join your Sagittarius, yours will be a very lonely relationship if involved with a Sagittarius. So, so keep this in mind. Um, you know, it's it'll be equally important, however, that you have your own life. It'll be equally important that you have your own interests and that you're independent as well. And even better will be if you can kind of draw your Sagittarius into your world um, with all of your interests and, and all of your foreign worldly pursuits, whether it be strictly mentally speaking or distant lands. Um, so any way you can stimulate your Sagittarius on a broadened intellectual perspective um, will, will be bonus points for you. So keep these things in mind. Uh, as far as sexual relating with Sagittarius, you know, it's, it's funny because Sagittarius is a jittery kind of energy. Sagittarius is very flexible, very adaptable. Um, but, you know, when it comes to intimacy, Sagittarius can, can be somewhat nervous, to be quite honest, and, and, and is very, um, you know, is, is the jokester in the bedroom and, and needs to keep things light. Um, and adventurous as well. So if you are more of the dominant person, sexually speaking, I think Sagittarius would benefit from this. Um, but whatever you do, keep it light, keep it fun, keep lovemaking, you know, not so serious, but more lively and active and, and, and enough for the Sagittarius to engage with you and have fun with you. So nothing too heavy or serious in the bedroom for, for the archer. Um, when it comes to how this sign does with disagreements, Sagittarius is very smart and Sagittarius is, is highly intellectual. And if you cannot carry a conversation with a Sagittarius, Sagittarius is not going to be interested in you. And I realize this is a fire sign. So fire signs are more action oriented, whereas it's the air signs that are, you know, stuck on 
intellectual pursuits. But Sagittarius needs someone who knows a lot about a lot of different things as well, because this is a sign that wants to share his or her knowledge with you. And so you need to be open to conversations. And even when you have your disagreements, you need to be open to your disagreements and, and, and be able to converse and, and, and really kind of surprise your Sagittarius with your knowledge base. So the more worldly, worldly you are, the more well-rounded you are, the more active you are in terms of being outdoors, outside of your element, doing new things, trying different activities, the more open you are and receptive to these types of things, the better your chances of snagging a Sagittarius and keeping him for the long haul or her. So go ahead and take a look at the rest of the videos in this series. And if you want more information, feel free to visit my website at randomnessofrudy.com. Good luck.